Republicans way of life is worth defending. That's why I that's a campaign ad video for former Michigan Congressman Mike Rogers announcing he is officially running for Senate. It's been 30 years since the Republican Party has won a Michigan U.S. Senate race. Mike Rogers hopes he can flip the Senate to red in 2024. Good evening. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Mike Rogers, a U.S. Congressman for 14 years and the former chair of the House Intelligence Committee, hopes to score the coveted seat of retiring longtime U.S. Senator Democrat Debbie Stabenow. News 10's Deanna Giles joins us with a look at how this race is shaping up and what this means for the GOP. Hi, Ann and David. It's no doubt that all eyes will be on Michigan as there are more bids for one of Michigan's U.S. Senate seats. Rogers joins Republican State Board of Education member Nikki Snyder, who has already announced she's running for Stabenow's seat. Former Detroit Police Chief James Craig and former Republican Congressman Peter Meyer of Grand Rapids are also exploring the possibility. The Senate election remains a competitive race for both sides. I'm Mike Rogers. Former Mich Congressman Mike Rogers announced on Wednesday his bid for the Democratic majority controlled Senate saying we can do better. That's why I'm running for the United States Senate to get government out of the way unleash American innovation and take common sense back to Washington. Michigan's future is at risk. For the first time in over 20 years, Michigan has an open seat in the U.S. Senate. This comes after longtime U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow announced her retirement back in January. Where I think the Democrats, they take it for granted, uh, they can't take it for granted next year. Senate Republican leader Eric Nesbitt says he's hopeful that the majority will tip in their favor. Although the Republican Party hasn't won a Michigan Senate race since 1994. Michigan State University political expert Matt Grossman says it's unlikely that Michigan will flip to Republican, but it's possible. Tra traditionally, uh, open seat races are going to follow the national trends, and so you're not going to have a huge outlier uh, where uh, Michigan goes to the Republicans while other states are staying with the Democrats. Entering on the Democratic side is Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, actor Hill Harper, Pamela Pugh, and several others. In a statement from the Michigan Democratic Party, Michigan Republicans' primary will leave them with a damaged nominee who is out of touch with Michigan families. It goes on to say Mike Rogers quit on Michigan nearly a decade ago. While Stabenow's retirement came as a surprise, Grossman says this remains almost a top-tier election. That doesn't mean that the next person uh, won't, won't be able to, to represent Michigan uh, well. It just means that uh, they're going to be kind of starting off new uh, in comparison uh, to, to her experience. Matt Grossman also raised the question if there will be Republican candidates that separate themselves from former President Donald Trump and the general party image. We're still more than a year out from the Senate election. In the studio, Deanna Giles, News 10.